Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Mass Effect 3. I think we're on the third one or the fourth bit, the fourth part. So I've been messing around when I'm not recording my gameplay. Now, here's the funny thing about this. Well, it's not the funny thing. It's like, it's like, can't really travel that much while in the galaxies because that's what happens. Let's see if I go here. I did like I did earlier. And you see the Reaper strip right there. That means you can scan um, items like this and you get like intel from it and if you don't do it well if you scam way too much they'll come after you and chase you during you know it tastes like i'm doing right now like just roaming around i'm like wow that's <laughs> it sucks <laughs> can you do upgrades on this right now nah But yeah, so I can't really roam around a lot in the galaxy. Wait, hold on. Valerian Dalatras and Krogan Clan Chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard baron. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist mailing through a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't worry Sorry about it. Me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Oh, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As the Council Spectre No, I am not gonna do this in any shit. <laughs> Unless I want to. We're going. <laughs> We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Oh, boo hoo. See, that's the Reapers. He just told you. How many times? Let's take Edie. 
and Damn, I got three squad members. I need more. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. Hmm. <laughs> this one does more damage, but adds more weight to it. Why not? I don't need my sniper. Occupado, yo. Ooh, high velocity. 80%. Not bueno, yo. Pistols. What the hell, Yara? Whatever. No, my paragon's going up. It was down below. <laughs> Alright. Edie. Decoy, distract opponents with this decoy. Ah, shit, I forgot the aura. All right, I'll do it again when we land. Are we landing on the ship or not? Oh. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Retrieving the females should be a simple matter. Who's the synthetic? I'm Edie, an Olvenese artificial intelligence. Sounds like Joker didn't teach you anything about Solarian. Commander. I have the Solarian based on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident as would we but you have something valuable to 
rest. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. All right, Rex. Whew. The last thing we do is start a fight. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Whoa. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Nothing Science ever is. Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Um. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention Please prepare for yacht specimen I could have gone sideways, huh? Alright, I forgot to get um the RS powers. Auto. Let me guess. We're gonna have they're gonna get invaded, watch. Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Toller. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope. Your mission on Vermeyer holds special renown in STG. The that assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. Well handshake, huh? But now, I'm not so sure. Mm. What do you think about the experiments on the Krogan females? I was part of the team that found them on Tachanka. I wanted them eliminated, but our scientists insisted we bring them back for study. I don't need science to tell me Fertile Krogan will be dangerous. I hope we don't pay for misguided mercy. I'm surprised you even know that word. The Krogan don't. When have they ever shown mercy? It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance of power that stood for a thousand years. And if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. This guy. The Krogan aren't the problem anymore. The Reapers are. For now. But once the Reapers are dealt with, history will repeat. An outcome that can't be discounted. Yeah, you said 80. Eh. Good day, Lieutenant. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. Agree with him or not, all will have to be clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Please don't touch that. Why not? This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted off Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravador sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile, and we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that, but you've never given up, and that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeyer we'd be standing here doing this together? Hmm. All right, that's all. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. 
Well, Rex, I hope you know how to come to terms at the end, because the last thing I want to do is want to kill you. He's a cool dude. Am I, but... You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Uh, yes, huh. Ladies, come on. Now take this elevator down and someone will... Oh, no. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. That'll sound good. See what I tell you? I was like, watch, you're gonna get invaded, then we have to defend. I say, Liar, every time I look at you, you look better and better. <laughs> All specimens are Is that weird to say? Yeah. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morton. Eyes, I still show surprise. Understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG? Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Help female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encourage political pressure to free females. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissues. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Hmm. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Shepard, it's Rex. Cerberus troops are attacking the base. Get the females out of there now! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. Noted. Now, please release Krogan. Damn, Morton. <laughs> Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. Elevator. Gotcha. Do you mind if I look around for a bit? Uh, no. I forgot these guys could talk really fast. Something's wrong with 
The elevator. Not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Oh, shit. Get back! Is there another way out of here? On the side of the lab. I closed up the exit. I can open it from here. Shepard, Cerberus forces trying to locate female. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Hurry! What do you see? I have a Cerberus. We need a uh, super ammo. Shadow broker. Not funny. <laughs> no one has seen him like, wait a minute. Leo, is that what you did you do you fight those before? Cool gun, but it's only five rounds a clip. I know I can put a bigger clip on it. She is. What I'm doing? Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secrets. Possibly a mole in the STG could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Oh shit. I should I just would draft my other gun. Cerberus appears to be well motivated. They're capable of anything. It's just hard to understand. Arise, one. 
Let's see, let's see, hold on. Dr. Solis' theory is likely true. Cerberus was informed of the Krogan's presence. Their response time is too rapid. Every war has its traitors. Wait, wait. Right. Look around, there must be a power conduit nearby. Up. Containment shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. This isn't your problem, Commander. You don't know me. But I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope Erd not Rex still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. It was we. I did. Yes, yes.
Oh, he's lost shotguns. Alright, let's switch back to my eye. Shepard, you must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of here. Holy shit. Easy peasy. Door is damaged. Can't get out. Stay clear. I've got this. Protect the Krogan Shepherd. She's vulnerable. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Enough. Enough. Oh yeah, I'm Commander Shepard for no reason. Let's make this quick. Let's get you out of there. Yeah, she's better. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Cerberus here. What do you want? Hmm. Well, you know, world shaker. Turn out you see it for a second. Uh, it's getting chilly. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. 
never doubt that. No, sir. Good, hack it out. So where is he at? Oh god, I'm curious. Oh, you're middle of space somewhere. It's definitely not Citadel. though. <laughs> you have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen for female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in Med Bay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest so speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Eve, huh? Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Hmm. <laughs> I'll come back. Oh yeah, I was supposed to meet uh, Miranda at the, at the Citadel. She wanted to meet me. I totally forgot about that, to be honest. Do you think Valerians have a base on their homeworld secured better? Yeah. They were solid. Server and Red Reaper checks. Compared to those upgrades, the Valerians might as well have been throwing rocks. Commander, Commander. Yeah. Nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Evie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Idi, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of the shoebox. Huh. Look at all these messages I'm not going to look at. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we talk to Edie and see what she has to say about the Krogan.
It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well? You want me to invite the Batarians too, or the Vorcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. Why is that? Morden sent me a nicely crafted message. Okay, so. If I was on top there, where would she be at? Maybe the crew deck? Let me see. There are uh, more than female Krogan. So female Krogan with four. Four. Might go with right? Wait, who are you? Number of lubricants available with different textures. We'll have Edie show you appropriate bids. We really don't need to talk about this. Ah, Shepard. We were just. Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue samples. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. We're Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I Hello. didn't think the Krogan had any Hello, allies Eve. left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's names. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered you the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How do you become shaman? How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Hmm. What do you think of Rex? 
When he's not trying to fire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Kogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart, Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that, you can tell him. Hmm. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a fresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. Stillborn? What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Hmm. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. Uh, how about Morton? How is Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry butcher offspring have an allergy to dairy and well, it wasn't his ear. Wow, okay. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicate significant stress on Eve's system. Malin stay a thorough. Fortunately, detail as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Um, Eve. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Please, huh? Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormone, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution imperfect. Health trouble. And you can't use it. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. 
We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. Um... Nice talking with you, Morton. Thank you, Shepard. Glad you'll be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. <laughs> Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is here. I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. Everything okay in the med bay? Yeah. Morden, would you just like some space to work with Eve? He kicked you out? Oh, no. I just thought I was getting in his way. I'll return when I need to. Well, nice talk to you guys. Alright, one more person's out there is Liara. Then, if nothing happens, yeah. So, Liara, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although, I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard? Lucky you keep his location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job. Again, Shepard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. Um, you brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. Okay, let's see. Bring the shaft. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be spaceworthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Theron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. Farron. Farron. Oh, that dude uh, helped her. So where is Farron if you two escape? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work. And I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. You know how to give her a kiss? The private messages terminal has new correspondence. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. 
I say you like to give her a kiss. I mean, I mean, you guys are together, together, right? <laughs> uh, all right, time to meet Miranda. Don't need to go through the rest. <clears throat> all right, let's do this. That wasn't there. Or it was that, but it wasn't like so many. I'm surprised they haven't had to say it out yet. I think she's there. She's here somewhere. My last picture, I was like, oh, Brandon wants to meet you at the sit at the Citadel or something. I think she said Citadel. Yeah. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Using any cameras is making a labor force. Can I ask, where were you when the Reaper left? You shut off. I'm sorry? I don't want to hear it. Do you think you had a problem? Humanity has suffered from it. What is State arms. Hmm, not yet. Nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Primarch Victus has requested a war summit with Council Races. The report suggests he has also offered an invitation to the Prime. All right, I guess she's not here, Dan. Oh, she might be in the, the dock bay. One moment, please. If I remember, yeah, it was not like, was it Retribution Camp or a dock bay? In my head. She's here somewhere. Now arriving at docking bay B24. Shepard, there you are. Hey, Amanda, you're looking good than ever. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. 
We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... Something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm uh, getting worried. Oh, uh, great. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me, but he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. What about... It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. <laughs> Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Um, Lee's on the Citadel? If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to you. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Uh, hold on, guys. Hold on. I've been. God damn it. Stupid messages.
Probably all these guys have been doing something quick. Fucking A. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience. But that can change. <laughs> I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot logger. Aye, aye, Commander. Well, at least she's better than the last one. Because <laughs> the last one I just like, uh, like, yeah. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Purgatory Bar. Who else is here? Let's just see Lara. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Get a zone. Auto zone. Dr. Mitchell, Dane, Ash. Hey, Dane. Hey, yes, you're on your feet. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. 
Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. Hmm. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ash. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's savvy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. I guess I'll talk to Dane while I'm here. Uh, he's swing by. Dane! Dane! Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. That doesn't sound good, Thane. But we already had a small conversation. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Yeah, hmm. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Leave one moment, please. Let's see who else is here. I can talk to you. Before I take off to my Normandy again. It's one dirt. One dirt. Double now three. arriving. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Oh, and here, here, I guess the poker door bar. If it's the same people, that might as well not. There's no point in talking to them. Because <coughs> they'll tell me exactly the same now things. At port level purgatory. Same thing, Officer James. I guess I'll talk to Arya. See what she has to say. Blood pack and eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What have we gained by having the eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more mountain than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My control of the eclipse runs even deeper. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. We'll talk later. I'm sure.
not much of a conversation. I might as well head back to my homie shit. I probably just, I was thinking about just doing like a side quest to like end the video. I hope there's no um, reapers in this area. Apparently, there's not, though. So. I'm just scanning. Just gotta find some intel. Seems like there's nothing. Rescue the students. I think this is uh, what's the name mission? I like this. I like it, but it's not what I want. All right, what are I using? I think it was this. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking bays. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you get me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? 
Well, do your thing. Dang. Sander, we're clear. It's me. Really? Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteers have stayed. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. Ryan Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring him back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Yeah. 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 You ready, ladies? Maybe more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders and secure it. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. Excuse me, Edie. Just try and look around. <gasps> Sis.
<laughs> Bummer. Oh, we're too late to waste it. I got it. I was getting dragged. Let's go, ladies. We got a galaxy to save. Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Okay, I'm finding a bunch of weapons here. Been a long time, Jack. Well, this is surprising. <laughs> You change ish. Uh, damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, uh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. Jack's personality appears largely unchanged. Hey, Edie. Nice body. Now you look like a sex bot instead of a sex toy. Okay. Right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Test to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes tops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. 
be ready when you need us, Commander. Commander Shepard? Guess we can't believe you and our teacher worked yeah. together. Both of you here. Maybe we've got a chance. We got to. Let me know when we've got a new way off this station. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed-off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip them to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. Throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over the place. Ugh, I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. <laughs> How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But... They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Find server's laptop. Okay, the laptop. Hey Jack, where's the laptop? Is that it right there? Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Above the door. Which door though is it? I mean, hey guys. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair of it. Fly. Okay, now let's let's go this way. students from direct fire just time your shots and stay safe all right I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now keep low pick your targets students of Grissom Academy the station is sealed the Alliance soldiers cannot save you all they can do is get you killed at the service already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared him in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go.
Grenade. Grenade. What side are you? Oh, I was like, what side are you? So now we we'll go this way. Anytime. Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The last guy? The square root of 906.01 equals 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. Oh, yeah. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. I remember. Biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. I don't remember you now. He looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Okay, Neil. Guns. Lots of guns. What is this? Hmm. 
doesn't have fire rate good, but it does have more weight. But it does have um more accuracy to it, so Hell yeah. Armor piercing sniper. Or piercing line. I feel like I'm missing something. Well, I guess not. Docking area. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. I give it like a, I'm not getting a lot of shit around here. Can I go on top? Nope. Oh yeah, baby. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on, turn faster.
Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. Much recovered fire. Joker, we flew out on the Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. All right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. <sighs> Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Um. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, Light Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Did you have a swear jar or something? Because I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. That <laughs> just cuts off. <laughs> uh, liberator. Liberator. I got liberator. <laughs> That's a cool mission. Shepard. Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. <laughs> Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. Hackett has the technically-minded students looking at the Crucible. Apparently, David Archer has already given them some ideas. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report. Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. All right. That's good, right? I don't want to hack it. Commander, something else you need? Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Oh, I guess. Uh. Hey man, how are you doing with this? Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding.
that's all. Of course, Commander. All right, nice time. This is it, war terminal. Alien. So this goes points by when we build our, t our team up for the strength, for the war. Hell of a show down there on Sirkesh, just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and I'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morton. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. <laughs> really? Now, before I end the video, I had to make sure I talked to everybody, my crew. Don't worry, Chief. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. Well, this it is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have been using messages. Right. <laughs> just got word. Everyone from Britain Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. All right. Hmm. Last time I checked, she was at the show, but... I think Jack might be in the ship now. Oh, but Diana's here. Where's she at? Three? Breaking now. Cerberus betrays its principles with gunfire. They're a radical pro-human group, so why did they just attack a human school? Interviews with faculty at Grissom Academy, next in the battle space. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. <laughs> okay. Try to show up.
Commander. Sorry, didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. You say your husband? Moved on. So he's okay. At least I thought I had. Huh. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. Let's see, I'm here for you, or we are all alone. You're not alone, Peter. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard. Yeah, but don't, don't be too flirty. I'm just doing some Paragon dialogue. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Loco! You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. I'll talk to you later. You bet. What's this? Oh, weapons are great. Nice. Not much on weapons are we or dialogue. I mean is Jackie on our ship? I don't know. I don't think she is. I mean if she is then I'll be like, hey, what's up? How you been? There's Cadman, Morden, female Krogan, Engineer Adams. Dr. Chop chop us. Nothing's happening when I walk by you. An inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. Shepard, how can I help? Nice talking with you, Morton. We'll be here if you need me. Not much change. Usually get the new dialogue. Eve. Something else, Commander? Um. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tybor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end.
Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liahua. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. I don't know if I could do this without you. Flatterer. I try. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Shepard. Hey, uh, Lara, I hope you know. There's oh. new information on the private messages terminal. Thanks, a hole. Oh, sorry. I say, Liara, I hope you don't figure out what happened to me and and Tali. <laughs> we kind of have a. Yeah. Get out of the way, dude. Always walking around for no reason. I was supposed to end my video like a long time ago. <laughs> Alright, apparently I got some new armor. What the? That was that. That actually looks pretty good. <laughs> well, not as much here to do left, so I guess I'll end the video. Well, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.